There are so many more variants of vehicles, such as the Flampanzers, flame-throwing tanks with the few that were made striking fear into the hearts of infantries, or command tanks like the Kleiner Panzerbefehlswagen 1, fitted with powerful radios to allow the commander to remain in contact with the rest of his army. Reconnaissance vehicles were also made, with thin armour and a focus on speed and terrain crossing ability, and still further variants of vehicles were armed with primitive versions of today's missiles and guided bombs, or esoteric weaponry such as rockets and infrared sights. Due to the fact that many of these vehicles were either converted in the field or made in very limited numbers, there is not much information at all to go off when studying them, and so for that reason I can't include them in this documentary, along with the fact that there were potentially hundreds of different types. For that reason, I shall summarise the vehicles that I've already studied and attempt to answer the question I proposed at the start of this documentary.